Thank you, Minister McMeekin. Minister Morrow, or Minister Gabell. <coughs> Well, that was one of the great introductions, Dave. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Minister Burrell. That's better. Okay, I feel better. I feel better. Um, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, it's great to be here with you. And obviously, it's always wonderful to see uh, all my uh, friends, uh, obviously, at municipal government level. I'm also very pleased to see uh, uh, and to greet uh, uh, Grand Chief Harvey Yesso of Anishinaabeyaski Nation. Grand Chief, always good to see you. Looking forward to um, obviously continuing on the relationships that we've developed over the years. It's wonderful to have um, um, Bill and I are both very pleased to have uh, Minister McMeekin here. Ted, as you could tell from his remarks, is a uh, a man, a minister, but a man of great passion, great warmth, uh, with a very deep value system. One I think so much reflects the, um, our government and our premier as well. But that's that's Ted. I've uh, um, built up a great friendship with Ted over the years, and uh, I'm just uh, really, really pleased. And may I say, he, we flew in from Sudbury this morning, just arrived uh, about 20 minutes ago, and, and the minister has to get back on the plane and get back down there early this afternoon. So again, it shows his commitment. Certainly, I don't want to speak for a great period, a long period of time. You all know me well. You all know, I, I hope, I mean, for some of you, I guess, this is the first opportunity I've had to see some of you since the... Um, June 12th election, so it's wonderful to see you. I'm very grateful, uh, certainly, that my constituents um, um, uh, made the decision to, to give me another a term in office, uh, a job that I love very much, a job that I take very seriously. And I'm also very thrilled, of course, that, uh, um, that Premier Wynn, with our majority mandate, has invited, invited me back into Cabinet, particularly in the role of uh, Ministry of Northern Development and Mines. This is um, and it's always an extraordinarily important ministry for all of us. It's always an important ministry in Northern Ontario, but perhaps now more than ever, with some of the, with the work that's going on, it becomes even more important. So I'm looking forward very much to, uh, to uh, working with all of you. Um, I do um, recognize that, you know, there obviously is a, an election process underway for those of you that have been acclaimed. That's the dream of every politician, of course. Uh, acclamation is, uh, is like the most, Charming concept, isn't it, Ian? Uh, the, yeah, the <laughs> uh, for those of you in races, I wish you all the best. Regardless, we look forward to working with you, and that's what I'm going to be doing. Rather than retreat to my formal remarks, let me just make a couple of things clear, and I hope there there, there, there are issues that, of course, you would already um, be with me on, which is that we recognize that as Northerners, as people who believe so much in the opportunities that are here before us, that they're, that focusing on building our economy in Northern Ontario is a real priority. And that means we do it from the municipal level, we do it from the provincial level, and we do it from the federal government level as well. It's absolutely our priority as a government, and as evidenced then, may I say, in the mandate letter that I received yesterday from Premier Wynne, uh, the priorities are uh, to help build the economy in Northern Ontario to drive forward with the development of the Ring of Fire, to continue to work to implement the Northern Ontario Growth Plan, which I can only do in partnership with our municipal leaders. We've already, you know, in the past set up a, a process whereby we're going to join together on a quarterly basis. I'm going to be renewing that process says as well once uh, the municipal elections are underway so that we can continue to make the best decisions as Minister McMeekin said, as partners, so that we can move the uh, economy forward. I'm, um, I'm excited about the opportunities that we have to continue to create jobs in Northern Ontario. We're always keen to talk about and to promote the Northern Ontario Heritage Fund Corporation. I want to make it even better. I want to make it work in, in a way that works better for everybody here in, in the North. And certainly in terms of the, uh, the Ring of Fire, a number of things are clear. What is what are clear is that we have an extraordinary deposit of chromite, let alone other incredible uh, minerals, in the ground in a remote part of the province. Um, and, and, and these are mineral deposits that are going to be offering us some great opportunities uh, for the long-term future and to actually change the economic and the social landscape of the province of Ontario for uh, generations to come. We have worked very closely uh, with, uh, in particular, the Matawa First Nations and will continue to do so. We're working off the framework agreement that we signed with the Matawa Chiefs back in March that uh, Premier uh, Wynne was here at the time, 
Minister Morrow was with us uh, with the signing ceremony as well. We're working out that so that we can then advance the discussions into regional infrastructure, into resource revenue sharing, into an enhanced environmental process. At the same time, while we also work with industry to move the project forward. Um, the fact that we have made a $1 billion commitment to the Ring of Fire in terms of transportation infrastructure is crucial. And we certainly are going to continue to be pressing the federal government to join us in that, uh, that funding model because, quite frankly, in order to reach the full potential of this project, there are significant infrastructure costs and significant opportunities as well. We have, we have formed uh, the uh, uh, Ring of Fire Infrastructure Development Corporation. We're pleased that's been put in place. We've got a phase one model. We want to bring our full partners on. The long and the short is it's obviously a very important and key commitment, uh, uh, certainly for, um, for our ministry and for me as Minister of Northern Development of Mines. But as the Premier pointed out, even when she, she was speaking last night on occasion, this is one where I'm not alone on this. We, I've got support from many ministers. Minister Morrow has a very significant role to play. Many other ministers have a very significant role to play. The Minister of Finance has a role to play. This is something we're going to be doing together. So um, working with you, seeking your best advice, working with my colleagues, and, uh, and having the strong support of the Premier certainly makes me feel very optimistic about the opportunity before us. And as you know, because you know me, I'm a kind of an optimistic, chin-up kind of guy, and that's the way I'm going to continue to be as we move forward with some of the great opportunities that we have here in, uh, in Northern Ontario, and I am delighted to be able to spend some time with you today and look forward to more time in the future. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Miigwech.